everyone on the committee deserves recognition, um, we should single out some committee members who performed above and beyond the call of duty. And uh, again, we'll hold our applause to the end. Um, Ira Wexler provided an early, enthusiastic push to start our planning process. Roy Kaplan was responsible for arranging the high school tour this morning, and he and Vinny Gorman set up the class surveys, which they're going to share some very interesting results with you in a few minutes. Betty Ann Mormella was our faculty liaison, and you'll hear more about that also. When you leave this evening, each classmate will be receiving, along with the class picture, a gift bag. And the gift bags are thanks, of, thanks to Jed Gaines, who is one of our classmates who now resides in Hawaii. And the bags will look like this, and they have um, macadamia nuts inside, and some Nerf footballs, and a pen. Uh, we have a mug that's um, courtesy of the committee. And so before you leave, uh, the room, the last room up front before you go outside, make sure you get one of these. And thank you for um, Jed also donated the beautiful ukulele. He calls it ukulele. Um, and two special items that he'll show you later. Um, and he's going to be giving those out door, as door prizes at the end. That's why you filled out those cards when you came in. When we began the reunion planning process, our main concern was how to locate as many classmates as possible. This was a difficult, time-consuming task. Without the hard work of William, Wilma Norwell Bright, many of you would not be here tonight. She and Steve Klitzman never gave up. They followed every clue and pursued every avenue. Wendy Kessler Edelson was our treasurer and was responsible for keeping track of the reservations. That was not an easy task. Paying the bills and keeping us on budget. Connie Wetzler Gavitt is responsible, among other things, for the great table decorations. Um, they're really great, aren't they? Uh, they, were, they were originally designed by Elaine Kuchin, who was um, class of 1960. Her brother Richard's here. And, but Connie spent hours painting and revitalizing them. And Connie is also responsible for the memorial presentation that you will view shortly. It was a difficult, time-consuming labor of love. I can't say enough about the contributions of Vinnie Gorman. In the beginning planning stages, he helped get us organized, taking over the task of keeping the master list. This morphed into his development of the wonderful website that has continued to provide information and opportunities for classmates to reconnect. Then he partnered with Roy Kaplan to produce the class surveys. He and Steve Klitzman worked for countless hours to produce the yearbooks and programs you received this evening. Through all of the reunion planning, then he provided a thoughtful voice of reason. And last, but certainly not least, our thanks go to Steve Klitzman. As I mentioned earlier, we got a late start in planning our reunion, and it got us off the ground when Steve pushed us to form the committee initially. He spent countless hours searching for classmates, never giving up on even minor clues. Steve was involved in every aspect of the reunion planning. He and Vinny worked to set up the valuable website. I could tell by looking at my morning emails that Steve often worked on reunion details past 2 a.m. in the morning. He and Vinny spent weeks producing the yearbook and program. This has been a full-time job for Steve. 24-7. <laughs> Along with his regular job. I'm not sure what he's going to do to occupy his time when the reunion is over, but I'm sure his wife Justine will be happy to see him again. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm now going to turn the program over to Steve. we started the planning this thing, uh, some people said, let's do it in the summer. And this was April 20th, we were having a lunch meeting. I said, yeah, summer of 2013. And they said, okay, well, how about in the fall? So we said, all right, we're going to do it the last weekend of October, before the holidays, and at the end of the hurricane season. <laughs> and of course, this year, we didn't have Albert, we didn't have Bernie, we didn't have Robert. But we have Sandy, uh, who's going to start in a few days. So uh, it's really been a tremendous team effort. Uh, 
uh, if we couldn't have done it without all the people that, that Joan mentioned. And I'm so happy to see you here tonight to be part of this. One of the most wonderful things we, we did with the help of Betty Ann Moore was discover that there are 14 teachers from Asbury Park uh, that are still with us. Uh, we had George Snow tonight, who is physically here with us tonight. Sergio Ray was supposed to be here. He is here. He is here. Okay, Sergio. Where is Sergio? Outside on the table, we have greetings from Ruth Meserve, uh, Lawrence Mion, and Robert McCurk. Uh, and Robert McCurk uh, lives in England, but he uh, wrote a really wonderful uh, message that was on the website. Uh, and he mentioned the fact that he was so proud of, of reading about our lives and what we've done with our lives, and uh, he was, was really delighted to know that we were going to have this reunion. One thing I want to mention that's out there also, make copies of it, uh, in in uh, 1962, the city of Asbury Park published a 12-page newspaper called the Asbury Parker, and this was designed to get accreditation for the school. And I made copies of this. Inside this newspaper, it was sent to me by Carolyn Bennett, who lives in Maine. She couldn't be here. But there are pictures of all of our teachers, all the departments, all the academic quality that Asbury had. And 1962, our year, was really a peak year for this for Asbury Park High School. Uh, and there are pictures of activities, Harold Schulman's pictures and other people's pictures. But it's a wonderful document of the history of this high school. Uh, we found 14 teachers, as I said. And what Betty Ann told me was one of the most wonderful experiences she had was having these teachers tell her that this was the first time in 10, 20, 30 years they'd even heard from fellows, from former students. So they were delighted. Yeah to have this kind of contact, and it made the reunion a lot more meaningful for uh, uh, her as, as well as for the rest of us. We have a few more people we want to recognize. We'll try to keep this going quickly for you. We want to socialize, and maybe we'll even have dancing outside later. Uh, in the yearbook, we have a Hall of Fame, Azure Park High School Hall of Fame. Um, it's been in existence for some years, thanks to Judge Ira Kreisman and others that started it. And we happen to have four members of our class who have been inducted into the Hall of Fame, and three of them are here tonight, and I'd ask, like to ask them to stand up. Claudia uh, P. Corbin, Joe Reed, and Alan Seeger. We also want to recognize a number of other types of people that are here, different groups of people. We'd like to ask everybody who served in the United States military uh, to stand up. I did. Anyone else? <laughs> uh, then we also want to recognize where people are from. Uh, everybody who has spent their lives and lives in New Jersey, please stand up. That's the okay. Probably the next group is Florida. How many people live in Florida now? Part of the year only. Okay, that's part of the group. All right. Um, anyone here from Hawaii? <laughs> and Irene Naris is all the way here from Greece. <laughs> Someone told me that Hawaii is about 100 miles further away from here than Greece, but I think you're going to get the award for coming from Greece. Um, we also have greetings from uh, Ira Wexler, who is in Peru. He was supposed to be here tonight. Uh, but he's, he works uh, as a photographer, and he takes pictures for the Marriott Corporation, and they're opening a new hotel in Cusco, uh, Peru. But I'd just like to read what he wrote here. He says, six months ago, this reunion was barely a whisper. I'm thrilled that it's happening and, and sad that I'm not with you tonight. To each and every committee member for their commitment to make this happen. To Joan and her indomitable team. To Wendy, who made it all add up. To Vinny, our ace webmaster. I'll skip over what he said about me. Uh, to classmates from far and wide, welcome. We are the winners. We are the survivors. And we are most blessed to be here. It's my fervent hope that we stay connected via our wonderful website. 
We share so much in common, and we are by any standard a family of friends and classmates. Hugs to all and greetings from Peru. And now we'd like to talk briefly about what happened to the class of 1962. The website has been an unbelievable creation of Vinnie Gorman. Uh, we have the profiles where we can get our bio information about each other. There have been some very moving comments that people have made uh, about departed classmates. And we also have conducted an excellent survey of uh, classmate lives, what we've done with their lives. And I'd like to call up uh, Roy Kaplan, who wants to say a few words about the classmate survey. I'm not sure I wanted to say anything I was asked to say. <laughs> I have to get my glasses on. Uh, I, I wanted to uh, say that uh, doing uh, social surveys is always a problematic uh, experience because you're not sure how many people are going to respond. But we got, one, the, I tabulated this twice. <laughs> but he said that more came in, so I said, okay. But apparently, we had uh, based these. Uh, statistics on 86, but now we have well over 100, and they're still coming in, so <laughs> you didn't do your schoolwork on time, you didn't do the survey on time, <laughs> these just don't change, so that's it, but I'm nowhere to talk, they told me I never go to college, so that's all right, uh, I might give you a few summaries, of, uh, a brief summary of some of the things uh, that we found, but uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll put this stuff on the website, okay, but the main thing is that I was moved by the number of people who went into helping uh, professions, education in particular, uh, there are, let me, let me see, uh, uh, a third of the, of the respondents uh, were well educated, I said, with a strong emphasis on working in the field of education. Uh, and I have to point out that women, uh, unfortunately, uh, were not given lots of opportunities to go into different professions uh, when we graduated. Uh, it opened up afterwards. So many of the uh, women that uh, graduated from APHS at the time, uh, when they went to college, they went into um, teaching, social work, secretarial work, and things like that. Now they're, you know, they're going to be president of corporations, although still not too any in that field, but we're, we're getting there. They're getting there. Uh, so that, they were heavily involved in those, uh, what we call helping professions. Uh, there were relatively few lawyers that responded. That might say something. I don't know what. It <laughs> uh, nevertheless, uh, there were a wide range of occupations, professions, and uh, another thing. I, I asked a question about um, marriage rate, and it was relatively high compared to uh, what goes on today in our society. Uh, and um, a number of people were married to the high school sweethearts. And they're still married. They're still stuck in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody. I'll, not, I'll be divorced after that one. Uh, uh, another interesting thing: nearly two thirds of our classmates are currently engaged in community service. Forty percent putting in five to fourteen hours a month, and uh, a quarter of our respondents are working twenty-seven percent. That is, are serving between twenty and forty hours a month. In community service, uh, I, I won't bore you with that many things. It's not really boring, but uh, we're here for other things this evening, and we'll post a lot of this stuff on the website. Benny's helped me out a lot with this thing, uh, but I, I, I want you to know that um, I'm uh, I'm proud to be a member of this class, and uh, I think by the achievement that was uh, indicated in your responses, the, the different things, the places people have lived, um, and their contributions to our society. I think you should be proud of it too. I'm happy to be here.